Dental floss was first invented in the early 1800s by Levi Spear Parmley, a dentist from New Orleans, who believed that by dislodging matter caught between the gums, we could prevent the real source of oral diseases. 1. Flossing helps prevent cardiovascular disease. Periodontal disease begins when plaque, a sticky film of bacteria created when remnants of food interact with normal mouth bacteria, builds up and turns into tartar. When excess plaque and tartar cover the tooth, it develops into gingivitis, or inflammation of the gums. If left untreated, chronic gum inflammation causes pockets between gums and teeth that fill with plaque, tartar, and bacteria. Researchers have explored the association between periodontal disease and cardiovascular events, finding that two types of bacteria that originate in the mouth can enter the bloodstream and invade the arteries, causing them to narrow due to a buildup of plaque. People who have periodontal disease are more than twice as likely to develop coronary heart disease as those who don't have periodontal disease. The good news is that periodontal disease is largely preventable. Practice good oral hygiene by flossing once per day before you brush and by brushing your teeth for two minutes at least twice per day. 2. Flossing improves blood sugar levels in diabetic patients. The prevalence of gum disease in diabetic patients is estimated to be double or triple the rest of the population. Just as with obesity, there appears to be a two-way relationship between chronic periodontitis and excess glucose in the bloodstream. Maintaining good oral hygiene has been shown to have a positive impact on glycemic control in type 2 diabetes patients, according to a meta-analysis of the existing scientific literature. By treating the underlying gum disease, the diabetic patients had reduced their A1C levels and had improved their glucose metabolism. 3. Flossing can help keep you from getting sick. Pneumonia, bronchitis, and other respiratory ailments are caused by bacterial and viral infections of the lungs. Though incredibly common, especially during cold and flu season, lung infections are uncomfortable to say the least. Symptoms include chest pain, coughing, shortness of breath, and fever or chills. People who are sick with a lung infection have a much greater likelihood of poor oral hygiene, according to a study published in 2011. The researchers found that the types of bacteria that colonize in the mouth in gum disease can invade the respiratory tract to aggravate the symptoms of pneumonia and bronchitis. 4. Flossing may help prevent weight gain. Although gum disease and obesity may make strange bedfellows, a link between periodontitis and BMI was established in a 2010 review and a meta-analysis of 70 studies from across the globe. Its authors found that people with periodontal disease are much more likely to be obese, and vice versa. The common denominator between weight gain and gum disease appears to be inflammation. The relationship between these health issues might be a two-way street. Chronic inflammation causes oxidative stress and the production of cytokines, factors that could contribute to either condition.